How's it going everyone? Liam Catterson here and we're at the halfway point of Black Mirror Season 4 with Crocodile uh, being episode number four. Well, I'd say halfway point. I didn't do the math right, so yeah. I haven't had a coffee, that's my excuse. But we, uh, you know, we'll be halfway done once we're um, done with Crocodile. So I'm really, really excited to see what this entails because last episode was a, was a really, really interesting um, episode, of course, with uh, the whole of protection arc going on and um the archangel thing that little sarah was connected to so um yeah it made for a very very juicy storyline like i said it wasn't your typical oh my god horrific stuff of black mirror of course but uh it had so it, it did have some black mirror stuff of course and uh it was an i thought it was a really really great story about how a great relationship between mother and daughter fractured so much and uh, it was just really really great stuff but yeah like i said i can't wait to check what this episode entails so with that said let's just delve right into episode number three of season four for black mirror crocodile let's go <laughs> oh sh whoa oh no and then again, he had he didn't have his eyes on the road as well. I I was thinking, are they in the right state as well? I don't think so. God, I'm all gonna call some... No, 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 no! Fucking hell, Mia! Think, okay, hey? Yeah, I you don't want to go to prison. We we've been fucking king in it, yeah. I gotta I gotta I, say, I, I love I, the real like the realism. This is prison, yeah. Of... The fucking instant prison. I fuck. I the performance. I'm not drinking me. I fucking hate the guy. Oh. Killing someone. They will put me in the cell. Yeah, they're not in the right they'll... state. They'll put me in the cell. They'll fucking keep me there. That's what they'll fucking. Oh God, just leave him here. But shut the fuck up, me, Rick. Shut. Well, just leave well, there's a light. Just stay quiet. Just stay quiet. Turf us in the lake. Better than snow, where it will dry up, depending where they are. Now, question people, how long is it going to be until someone finds out? <laughs> yeah, puppy. Is, this a, is someone else leaving their dog out like last week's episode? Is, is, this, is this a theme developing all of a sudden? I know, I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry. And now he's trying to do the right, well, I guess the right issue. 15 years, the fucking shame, the fucking guilt. Fifteen years. Holy shit. I've got somewhere. I've got a life. You don't know. You don't yeah, understand, that, Rob. You don't understand. Point, you, you don't understand. You <laughs> I don't married. want that to ruin me. I've got a son. Wait, is she... Go <laughs> is she gonna kill him? Oh my god. She's not. But then, what are you gonna do with his body? There's no lake nearby. Oh, well, at least you're now even in terms of kills. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't. Oh, Mia, 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 Mama Mia. Oh, oh. Or are they automate like automated uh, drive like driveless cars? Yeah, I was gonna say that song. Eh? Like the thing is, she felt threatened, and she did what she had to do for her career, for her family, for everything. Doesn't make it right. Pick it up. I know what you did. I'm kidding. Oh. Of course. Bye, Rob. Oh, I don't know what you... Oh, my God. What sort of speed was it going? You mean, was it going too fast? Um... Helps to back up the case. focus on the vehicle? Uh, maybe. Um, um, I don't know. I, be going I a bit can't really say. 
steadily, doesn't what it? What about the impact itself? Well, I didn't really see it. I just saw the aftermath, really. I mean, he was looking down as well, so he might not be watching um, where he was going. I Sorry. Oh, is this who I think it is? Because she did. Because she did have a look at. Oh no! You won't tell anyone about the photo. Oh no! It's water under the bridge. Like that in my report. Let's see if it's me. Think he promised. Go. Go. That's the thing with this. You gotta get there as soon as possible. Especially with a mind like mine. Like my mind's just gonna go like. You're not going to have any chance with me, unless it's something that I enjoy, like reacting to shows. I know I'm sure I won't ever let the, 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 the writers know. They know this song is the Black Mirror theme. It's sometimes hard to articulate exactly what your mind's eye seen, but capturing your impression of what you saw is really useful. Okay, but your voice says something, in. your memory says but something different. You can read the terms here if you like. All the legal stuff is in there. Could be going fast for you. Nick, I don't care what you might have been doing in the hotel room in your own time. I'm not going to ask you anything about that. I won't go there. Oh. I hate room service. There's no hotel room on my own. She's trying to make it. She's. Yes. Try to get those memories. It's not going to be as simple as that, though. Like hypnotizing your mind. I was on my own. I say you're a liar. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's your Monica. Right, cut off. Cut off now, and me is safe. Oh no. Go. Shut the fuck up the fucking go. She lost it. She's lost all oh, and the yeah, the 15 years ago. Oh shit. It's just my head. Yeah, I'm sure. Could that be that glitch though? Uh oh. Gonna get in the car, isn't she? And be like, don't say, don't say anything. Oh, 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 shit! What'd she do? Oh my god! Secret. Nah, nah. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I'm really sorry. Mia. Mia, don't. Will you please close your eyes for me? She's crying. Oh my god, Mia, what an absolute No, I don't I don't no. She can cry all she want. It I think it here's the thing. She can cry all she wants and vomit and all that kind of shit, but she still killed someone. Oh, come on! Uh, how did he not notice that peripheral vision? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She is absolutely not having... Bro! Oh my lord, you bitch! My God! No. I swear to God, if she kills the baby, I am going to absolutely not have it. They're not afraid to go this limit. She's gonna kill the baby, isn't she? Please don't. Oh, don't tell me we're gonna be. It's left up to debate. Did she kill the baby or not? Oh, please don't. Don't not do this. 
I believe in the happy time! Oh no, you bitch! Who kills a baby? You are an absolute- No! I don't know. Probably you absolute bitch! Office. Born blind, apparently. So I have to say, I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking for. That's a good job, they're not asking me. Look, plug the memory thing in the hamster. The hamster saw mm. everything. Let's go out there. Let's let the recall team do their job. Oh, my <laughs> lord. Oh, they are actually going to. Yes! Let We've got the baby back! She's gonna get sent down! Put her through a state of hell and, you know, put her's AI or whatever um, from White Christmas. It's just so eerie how, like, she didn't regard... Um, but then again, she was in a lot of panic anyways, but she still kept on killing. So, just to, you know, make sure that... I mean, what what was she going to do? Is she was she going to kill off the entire population because people, like, people will be connected to people. And, uh, and, well, she thought killing the baby would be the end of it, but she didn't account to the freaking was it a guinea pig or have, I think it was a guinea pig. And anyways, um, she didn't she didn't account for Codger. That's one thing for sure. Um, yeah, that was just mental though. Those. Ten minutes. I was thinking she's not going to kill a baby. She's surely not. Black Mirror just does that. I was absolutely heartbroken, and I just wanted Mia to suffer the worst kind of hell ever. Because whereas she was, you know, puking up, she was upset that she killed someone. She still goes and does that, and that's what I don't know. You know what crocodile could mean? It could mean that she's cold and ruthless and like because she was. Um, I mean, you saw. Um, the way she came to Shazia's uh, car, like when, you know, she was done with the whole um, recaller thing, she was like, oh no, I'm not letting you go away. Uh, and, you know, she went for her husband, she went for the baby, and that's cold enough. Like, you kill a baby, how, how can you be, like, how can you be sane? How can you be, you know, the opposite to cold-hearted by killing a baby? Come on. And I think the worst part was that it was blind as well. Like that, like I said, that baby, that baby needlessly died. It was just absolutely disheartening. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really interesting episode anyways, because, um, I felt this was the most realistic form of technology because it wasn't too, you know, dream-esque in terms of technology like the grain or s something like that, maybe like 50 million merits, because that got referenced a whole bunch of times in this episode, not just the uh, the famous song that the Black Mirror writers love so much. Um, but also, um, Rafe Babes was included. I think, yeah, there was a bit of controversy with one of the um, uh, judges, I, I believe, so... Um, yeah, it, it was like a nice little homage to, you know, 50 million merits, so interesting stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really, really interesting considering the fact that the recaller um, was the technology that was focused on, which is pretty, pretty good as well for, like, you know, insurance fraud and all that kind of stuff, uh, as well as, you know, recalling any incident that, you know... I don't know, a hit and run of something like that. Like, you can recall any incident where the, where the, uh, uh, attacker has just, you know, darted off and, you know, you can try and find that person and, you know, there's nowhere to hide. So it's, it's really, really invest, it's a really, really great piece of technology for, you know, people to, you know, get their facts straight, of course. And not just, you know, just look at one perspective. They get to look at a different, uh, a bunch of people's perspectives because, Shazia's uh, investigation uh, with that automated pizza truck, which was, you know, I, I just found that, I think that was the most comical thing about the episode for some reason. I mean, it wasn't so comical for the guy who, you know, uh, was injured, but it was just, oh, you know, this is Black Mirror and, uh, you know, 
automated cars are still a, uh, are still a thing to you know uh, consider. But um, yeah, it, it was. It, she was looking at different perspectives, of course. Uh, the the guy who got knocked over, obviously. Uh, but also the woman that he had a glance at, she had an idea, the dentist as well. Um, so yeah, it was just a really, really interesting um, piece of technology. Like I said, it's realistic because uh, it, it does. Ha it's not like, oh, this is going to operate so sufficiently and all that. It, 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 it's, I don't know, it's like, I don't know. Well, the style does remind me from... I don't know, one of those small, small portable TVs from, I don't know, the 90s or something. Um, but, you know, it, it it's also really, really good because, you know, it has this thing that, you know, can connect to brainwaves and transmit. So I think, it, I think you know, that is doable maybe within a few years. Maybe I'm, you know, underest underestimating everything there. But uh, it, it's more doable than the grain, definitely. So, um yeah, it was just a really, really interesting piece of technology to, you know, delve into. And, you know, what I also loved as well was the fact that we had two separate stories, you know, collide into one. Uh, it was evident as well once we found out what Shazia's um, gig was, of course, with her insurance thing uh, and how she managed to get her facts straight, of course, with the recaller thing. Uh, it was obvious that that was go and merge into one story, but it was just really, really neat how they managed to, you know, focus on two sides. Um, you know, Shazzy and her family, nice, you know, family, of course, and, you know, it was very, very warming, and she's got an honest job, and she, she, she does well. Whereas you have, whereas you see Mia's side, who is, oh, she was on a downward spiral, of course, and, uh, uh, well, it started off swimmingly, of course, for her. She had a family, she had a really, really, you know, great job, I think. Um, but like I said, that all started going downwards when she killed her old friend, of course, because, you know, they could trace it back to, like, uh, like if he sent off that letter, of course, they could trace it back, of course, like, it's all about tracing back, and, she, and you know, that will put her in jeopardy, because she was, you know, um, cooperating with Rob when he accidentally killed that cyclist, of course, um, which is, it's so funny though, because Mia was the one who was saying, okay, well, let's call the cops. And then, you know, Rob was the one who was like, no, no, let's not get crazy, okay? So, um, it's so interesting how that's, you know, not only reversed, but how she has absolutely become so, so cold-blooded over time, of course. Like, from the innocence of, you know, trying to do the right thing. Um, yeah, it was just absolutely, you know, eerie to look at, but... Also very, very, you know, disheartening as well to see, you know, all the victims collapse because of Mia's, you know, crocodile tears. Because that's what it was. And that's what I do. I do think that and maybe her cold-blooded, uh, like, predatory actions, I guess, uh, were contributed to the, you know, episode title Crocodile. Um, because... Here's the thing, I mean, like I said, you can cry, you can, you know, vomit, you can beat yourself up all you want, but she still had a craving to kill. And, you know, all because, she, like, I don't know, like, I mean, she was under a lot of panic, but she was never going to get a normal life because that shit would have, you know, hit her in the, like, the best thing she could have done 15 years ago, it might have been a bit of a betrayal, but it would have stopped her from you know, doing potentially anything more. She should have confided to the police in her own time about, you know, what happened with the cyclist. And, uh, you know, she could have said she was under a lot of pressure by Rob and Rob would have been, you know, probably taken away because he still killed someone and he hit the body as well. Like, he was like, oh, let's not do the right thing. Let's hide the body so, we, you know, we can move on to our lives. So that's the right thing she could have done. But, you know, she did roll along with it. I mean, she is the t type of person who can get a bit panicky as well. So, you know, that might contribute to her killing people further. Like, she, she just snaps like a crocodile. Um, but at the end of the day... She orchestrated, like, she, there was never a moment when she entered Shazia's husband's, um, home, ready with the hammer. There was never a moment where she was like, am I doing the right thing? Or am I, 
No, I'm doing, I'm doing the, I'm, I'm doing the right thing, definitely. There was never that moment of contemplation in her head, so, um, yeah, it was just really, really disheartening to see, um, you know, how she was just going around killing everyone and all that, uh, despite the fact that, you know, the way I see it, she has nothing to be apologetic, like, she has no reason to, you know, beat herself up because, um, you know, sympathy doesn't work like that. Sympathy, like, she, she had no sympathy. That's the thing. That's, she, she was merciless. She was predatory. She will strike and she did. So it was really, really, uh, disheartening to see. But I just really, really, you know, enjoyed, uh, the references to episode two. The technology, like I said, the recallers are really, really nice, you know, realistic invention because, like I said, it's not too OP for the future, uh, like, it's not too far futured, I guess, compared to potentially the grain. Um, I mean, the grain might be a bit doable given some, like, several years or whatever, maybe, but, uh, like, in terms of, um, well, I wouldn't say it will happen within several years, but I'm saying, like, within, you know, a bit of research, they can start developing several years or whatever, but it's more durable, like, it's more doable, and, uh, like I said, it's, um, really, really great in picking out, uh, parts, of course, um, being able to tell the story straight, and, you know, it, it risks people getting away with shady stuff they've done, like, well, I say insurance fraud, of course, because, of course, Shazia's was... Uh, a part of that insurance company, wasn't she? So, um, yeah, that was a really, really great benefit. So we can get everything sorted out straight so the right people can, you know, win without any kind of kerfuffle going on or, you know, interesting tricks going on. Um, so, yeah, it was just really, really disheartening, especially, you know, seeing her getting walloped by me, of course, at the end and, you know, her... Uh, praying at the, at the very end. It was just really, really, um, disheartening, especially at the, you know, fact that she killed the baby. I, 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 I was, you know, I should have expected it as well, considering the fact, like I said, Black Mirror are not afraid to go that route, but, you know, I was thinking, there's gotta be a line. There's no line. There is no limits. So, uh but yeah, like I said, that was a fabulous episode. I enjoyed watching that. It was pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and it, it felt a bit different to other Black Mirror episodes. I mean, well, they do feel different in their own degree, but it, it really, you know, felt like something different, uh, this episode of Black Mirror, but it was still enjoyable and I still loved seeing the, you know, um, complication that Mia put herself into the, the, you know, the two different stories that we had merged into one. It was really, really fun stuff. And, uh, killing a baby, a blind baby as well, needlessly. I mean, she wasn't to know that, of course, but still a baby. Still a killer, actually, to be fair. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying, oh, she killed an adult. That's fine. Um, still killing someone, but you know, Babies are more fragile and, you know, they're more, they, they are precious and, you know, if someone killed a baby, that would, abs that's absolutely, you know, no redemption at all. So, yeah, um, I mean, there, there's never redemption from, you know, unnecessary, like, well, murder in general, really, unless, you know, I guess war and all that, but like, the, the way Mia did it, should I say, like, uh, how she, you know, just struck on innocence to, you know, keep her life afloat. But yeah, that was episode three. Hope you guys enjoyed that reaction. I enjoyed that, and uh, I didn't enjoy it in the final ten minutes. It was really, really uh, on the heart. But in all seriousness, it was, a, it was another great episode, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I will see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out all my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds channel if you want to. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Toodles!